Good afternoon, this is Chris Brecher with Simpler Trading, the Chart Patterns Mastery free video for November 14th, 2023. Amazingly, market the ES up 88. Everybody freaking said, oh my gosh, that's a massive rally. And it is. And we've had a massive rally for about 10 days. Like I warned everybody, the beginning of November, yeah, historically is strong, no doubt about it. And number one, I wanted to mention... It was so flattering how many signed up for my Chart Patterns Mastery uh, class about short selling. Yeah, good timing. But I warned everybody, it's just not the right time, but you need that tool in the arsenal. Now, the first thing I want to show you, though, is this. I'm going to share a snagit image. That's historically what the market does. What the market does every, every year in every month. So as you're seeing in a lot of times in November... Yeah, it goes up until about of what I've seen. Well, I'll show you. So we'll go into here and you see the ES going nuts. No doubt you see the ES going nuts. I mean, you could see that. That's the S&P futures. You could see that a mile away. Then you could say the bond market went nuts. Heck yeah, the bond market went nuts today. One day up. Now I want to show you last year. We're going to put the SPX on the left. Because I like looking at similar charts have similar outcomes. Unfortunately, right now, I'm not sure what the outcomes are, but I want to show you some correlations from last year. So here's on demand, and this is last year on November 14th, believe it or not. Same day. Same day. Yeah, market went nuts. Went up, straight up. So just uh, keep that in mind, straight up from here. November 10th went up actually from there, 38.60 to 4,000. That's even more than now percentage-wise. So that's one thing. Second thing I want to show you is this. There's the bond market on the right. Heck yeah, that's a bull flag. I'm not messing with the bonds. I'm just showing you a relationship here. So you see that both went up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the 15th last year. Bond market still going up. Stock market sort of going up. Forming an indecision candle when it's real overbought like you see down here. Now check out. We're going to put five days from then. Well, let's say the 21st. So six days. Bond market went up. Stock market went down. Just keep that in mind. The bond market had another leg up. Stock market sold off about 50 points. But wait. There's more. We're going to go to November 29th. Yeah, stock market's still going up, as you see. Yeah, the bond market's still going up, like you see the arrows. So you see the stock market hasn't gone up a lot. Just keep that in mind. Now go to November 30th. Holy cow, look at that move. Yeah, that's a nice move for you. That's 122 points. And the bond market's still going up. So now we're going to go to December 1st. I like doing these kind of correlation stuff. So if I can try to decipher some patterns, because the S&P went nuts today. Well, bond market's still going up like you see the arrows. Stock market did nothing on December 1st. So you had this massive move, 122 points. Back then, percentage-wise, that's gigantic. Let's go back to it. And show you November 30th. Remember, the SPX was up 3%. If you can see this little white, it was up 3%. Holy cow. Now we're going to go to December 4th. You're going to see a big difference here. Uh, December 5th. Let's go to December 5th. Just remember that green candle and remember what the bonds did. The bonds are near their high. This just sold off 100 points. 100 points. Now, this is where it gets real interesting. Everybody talking about year-end rally. Look what happened December 15th. Look at that. That's now 200 points while the bond market's on its high. So don't write off that kind of thing happening again. Keep in mind, you had this massive rally here. You had the indecision candle. And then you sold off about 200 points there. 
Then you tested the high and sold off another 200. The moral of the story, I like watching the bonds against it. At this time of year, though, they can diverge. So that's what I'm going to be watching tomorrow. You have this massive rally, really only 2%. While well, the bond market hasn't done anything. I wouldn't be surprised to see this bond market have a leg up and have this start selling off. So have a great night. Thanks for listening. Take care. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Brecher, and I'm Senior Managing Director of Stocks at Sippler Trading. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like our content, please leave us a like and a comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification icon so you never miss any of our great new content coming out. Good trading, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.